Well, we like to think it's because we're doing a good job in our residence halls. We are providing them, I think, a good place to live, uh, excellent meals, a very sound recreational, social, and educational program. Uh, the trend over the past two or three years has been back to campus. Uh, we've had increased on-campus living each year for the past three years. Dr. Bishop, housing is getting pretty tight. Yes, it is. This is probably one of the tightest falls that we've had in the time that I've been on the Ball State campus. Uh, we have right now an increase of 1,000 over the same time last year who have applied for housing on the campus for this fall. So actually we're going to have to cut off enrollment for those who require on-campus housing. Yes, this is a decision that has been made. We will have to stop enrollment for those who need to live in university housing. We already have 510 people uh, over our normal capacity. These will be housed temporarily in study lounges. We have more than 200 on a waiting list, which we hope to be able to accommodate, but there's no certainty of that right now. This is very interesting because it wasn't so long ago that uh, the trend was to off-campus housing. You must be offering something that's uh, very interesting uh, to the students. Per room, any overflow this fall will be accommodated in study lounge and recreation areas. Uh, there'll be no triple uh, rooming? No triple rooms, except in a very few rooms that are designed to house three students, and those are already requested by upperclassmen. How many residence hall does Ball State University have? We currently have 34, including 33 for undergraduates and one for graduate students. And they'll accommodate how many students? A total of about 6,900. And we expect to open at about 7,300 this fall. <laughs> 